talking about. Just what I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Got it! Holy crap! All right, folks, I'm at one of my favorite flathead and white bass spots. Everything's starting to pretty much go back to normal. This was the one thing that ain't quite the way I want it. It's about three feet too high still, but it is gradually going down. It's getting there. Can't really lure fish, I don't think, but I'm going to go ahead and I can't resist the temptation to throw it a few times. I probably won't cast nothing, but we're getting ready to set out three poles on the bottom with bells and everything and see if we can get a flathead or a buffalo. Not now. We should get two pulled out. Now a third one's going to be difficult because the current wants to pull it so far down. You got to space them way far apart. I don't know how I'm going to get a third one out there without getting down there. It's nothing but snags. I don't know what I'll be able to do here. It's not going to be easy. I told you, don't waste your time. In one hour already, I just finally rechecked all three poles. I had one hung, but I got it in. It didn't have a worm. The other two were just fine with a full worm, but I went ahead and changed everything. So I got all three poles back out, fresh bait, in a little different spot, and just sitting here waiting. It is a four day. I haven't seen any activity either on the water. No fish jumping. Something just don't seem right today, and I don't know what it is. Maybe the water's dropping at a real drastic rate, and that could be affecting the fish. Uh, like I said earlier, this needs to go about three foot down before it's in prime shape, and what I like it starting about usually after Labor Day. It starts getting that greenish color instead of this mud colored, and that island will be exposed over there where I can fish with a lure along these rapids. And I like it when you can see half the rocks exposed. Uh, I'm going to come back at a later time when it's a lot better. I plan on putting the canoe in here with a trolling motor and anchor and anchoring in that calm spot you see between the two main swift points. I'm going to fish that whole thing with lures for white bass. I'm going to bring sunfish with me and set limb lines all down here through here below me for about a half mile or so on any big branches that are hanging out big flat heads and then I'm going to sit here and bank this flat head too so it'll be a good time I'm going to have one good trip here this year if I got to come here at 7 in the morning and stay till 2 in the morning I will right here at the rapids guys it's a drum but hey I told her to quit wasting her time throwing lures she proved me wrong nice little how about a two pound drum on a green and pink twister tail 
My God. She sure did. Good job, honey. Let me get a good picture of you. Yeah, she proved me wrong. My God. I can't believe it. Hey, we didn't come fishless then at least. Got him on a twister tail, guys. Hold it down, a little bit down. There you go. Good job, man. <laughs> oh, my. Too bad it wasn't a white bass, huh? I oh, know, I did too. Wilma proved me wrong, guys. I told her quit wasting her time throwing lures because this is so high right now. Look at this. Still three feet too high. Big old drum. Drum. You never know, though. It could be a buffalo. Yeah, it's acting like a little drum. That's what keeps stealing my worm. Oh my God, really? Oh boy, better call the record book. <laughs> oh, that's what's been stealing my worm. Hey, it'd be good for an aquarium. <laughs> oh man, no wonder I haven't noticed them biting and they steal my worm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, yeah, if I had a little aquarium, he'd be a good pet, wouldn't he? <laughs> that explains why I've had trouble. Maybe he'll quit and there ain't no more of that one. <laughs> oh wow. This guy is what's been stealing my worms today. <laughs> little five inch channel cat. Hook him through the bottom left. My goodness. You got one? Oh, Wilma just got a white bass on the pink pole shark. Oh, good job, huh? My goodness. I'll zoom in. Folks, we weren't getting nothing uh, on some worms. They just, it's little channels that keep stealing our bait. So we keep throwing loose here and hope that we get one. And sure enough, get a decent white bass. Good job to hold him up sideways too, by the lip and on the, one finger on the lip and one on the belly. And hold him sideways. Man, that is awesome. She really outdid me today, guys. Man. Good job, honey. Now I gotta get one. I'm gonna try right now. Okay. Good deal. I won a total loss. I got one on the, I'm getting a bite on the white one. I just ignore them because they just steal it. If it's a real fish, it'll ring the bell. But look what I got. I got a half ounce jig head. Oh my goodness. So what to do with the worms now then? You need to dump, take the water out. That way I can put the worms back in there. 
Or are you just gonna put him back? We ain't gonna get no more. You might as well put him back. We're gonna come get a bunch of them. When this is down, I'm putting the canoe in here. Now we can park closer and it won't be that hard to drag it down here. As long as we're in the drain though. Nice one though. Well, we need to do something with a worm. <laughs> 